That three-hour bus trip to Port Authority is one of the perks of living in Binghamton. Amy Hogan tells us in tonight's Legacy Landmark that while parts of the bus ride could have changed like Wi-Fi and phone charging, a lot more has remained the same. Stationed here on Shenango Street in the city's downtown, the bus station still looks the same as it did when it was built in 1938. The glass blocks and the very traditional Greyhound bus sign. And that's no mistake. Oh, it's on now, and it's flashing. Oh, wow. Replacing the lights, Utica sign and graphics is using the tubes molded from the original Greyhound red neons. The latest in a conscious effort to keep the retro character of the building intact. A decision made when the county created a consolidated bus terminal in 2010 adding more bus lines and BC Transit. And the county came in and added on the BC Transit and the spaces for the other bus lines. They did very respectful rehabilitation. This station was one of around 60 just like it, built across the country between 1910 and the 40s. And Greyhound branded themselves with, with a similar look of bus stations for a couple of three decades. The design style is called Streamline Modern. It's an Art Deco style, and it's supposed to give the uh, impression of a streamline and speed. While other bus terminals have modernized, the Binghamton station is one of only six in the country that kept the iconic design. People have come through and say, you have a very nice bus station, and we go, yes, we do. Others may recognize it from a popular Twilight Zone episode, Mirror Image, Rod Serling recalling the station from his childhood. It was reminiscent of what he remembered of the station. A lot's changed since Serling wrote about it, you can now get your tickets online for one, but you can still go old school and visit the ticket window. And the Greyhound still runs in Binghamton. For Fox 40 News at 10, I'm Amy Hogan.